one of the things I keep trying to tell myself, or rather, I should say that my legs, feet and ankles keep telling me is that you don't have to trek miles and miles in order to find a reasonable composition. Now, this is a, a spot here, you can see, just pulled over on the road. It's a road I've travelled a good few times, but always on a mission to get somewhere rather than explore it. And uh, you can hear it babbling around. This, we can come down here, is uh, the upper wharf in Wharfdale. We've got the river just babbling here. I'm sure you can hear it. Just a simple scene, river travelling through. I'll uh, put it on live view, so to speak, so you can see this. I've got this as a uh, portrait shot running through here. I've tried it with a, um, an ND filter on it just to blur the water a little and I've got to be honest actually it doesn't work so I'm, I'm just uh, working with a shutter speed of what's it what, are, what is it oh it can't tell me because it's on live view but I'll have a look in a minute but it's a, a relatively lowish shutter speed because I've stopped the lens down to 22. Polarizer on the front just to take the reflection off the water and darken that down a bit it's a really Really nice little shot, and uh, yeah, I, I hope you like this. And obviously, uh, yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you think. A wider shot would be just as nice here and indeed it probably is so I've put on my 12 to 40 you can see roughly the composition I haven't put the polarizer on this yet I'm trying to ensure that I get some foreground of the pebbles leading around here and it's forming a nice curve so I'm, I'm open wide at uh, 12 uh, mil here so I've got a curve running around focus on the rock in the center which is kind of midway F22 should pull the whole thing into focus at 40th of a second. Let's take a look uh, to see. So, yeah, I'm quite happy that everything there is nice and sharp. Refer, come back to that. We've got the cloud detail. I'm really happy with that. Hope you like it. I think it's better than the 40mm shot off the bigger lens. Um, this is without the polarizer, so I think I'll do one with the polarizer as well. And I'll probably put the pair up together so you can have a look at the pair of them. That's cool, good. Big old polarizer. So that's unpolarized, polarized light. Oh, I do like it better with the polarized light. Yeah, happy with that. This is the unpolarized one. Now the polarised one, I think you'll agree, it's much better. Break my heart, it's already broken from the start I don't know whether I've got another shot sun's behind me I don't want to shoot into the sun because it really does pick up the glint of the water Never thought that it would be enough to mend my broken heart There's hardly any water in the rivers here at the moment which is a shame because obviously there's no waterfall uh, images to be had. Well, I mean, but they're not very full of water. They're, they're not full waterfalls. Does that make sense? Full waterfalls? Yeah, I'm sure it does. Might have another creek down here, see what's... Uh, creep, wrong word, isn't it? Uh, yeah, see whether there's anything down here. I'm sure there will be. Uh, I'm sure there's something on every twist and turn. Uh, of this river. It's a beautiful river running down the bottom of this valley. 
I just came down stream a little way, only a few yards, and I saw this beautiful little blue flowers. Wonderful texture on it. Absolutely lovely. I'm enjoying macro a lot at the moment. It's completely alone here. There isn't another flower obviously anywhere near it. A one to two ratio. I don't want to get too close because it's too big in frame and you obliterate the flower itself. But we're shooting here at f4 around 300, 400 of a second depending on the light. The light is changing uh, constantly here. The focus point is possibly a bit high actually. Let's just try and get the stamen in. There we go. Anyway, I hope you like this little shot. It's a cute little thing. little shot. Of course it's not landscape, it's not what I'm seeing down here and there's the lights changing. This is very nice too and uh, I'm thinking I'll probably swap lens over again and uh, continue doing something looking down river because all of these rocks are wonderful too. It's also worth me pointing out that I'm using my little National Geographic carbon fibre tripod here. I've taken out the, uh, the centre column and replaced it just with the little spigot so I can get really low and kind of eye level almost with this beautiful little flower. An absolute bargain this was and I've got to say actually even at full price uh, around £90 I'd say that this tripod is an absolute gem. Links down below if you're interested in that and uh, there's also a link down below to the review of it as well. See what else I can find here. There's got to be more photographs within a hundred yards of where I am than I could possibly imagine. And indeed there were, but I was reminded that we needed to leave and find somewhere to camp for the evening, so I packed up and uh, went away. Except I had to go up river just to where these trees are, and uh, I got a lovely, lovely panorama. So this is a three-shot vertical panorama, handheld. There's some real depth to this. I really do like this image. I hope you do too. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers. Thank you.